Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Wobots tear up in this mood. Happy Monday to you all. Hope you're all having a great day. Let's check out what's going on on my table. I've got a pile of sprues because I am going to be kit bashing a whole bunch of Blood Angel stuff together. So let's take a look at them one by one. The first is the Space Marine Commander. Sorry, I don't have the box or the instructions for them. I kind of got them all, all together in a package deal. So they, they just came as the frames. So let's take a look at the Space Marine Commander. It comes in a sprue and a half, I guess you'd call it. And so we've got Lightning Claw, Power Fist, Power Sword, Chain Sword with a looks like a bionic arm robot, Backpack, Torso, half of a torso, Loin Cloths. I'm going to be turning this sprue over in a second so we can see the other side. Uh, plasma pistol, combi plasma. For those of you who are new to the hobby or don't know, combi weapons are a mix of the normal Space Marine weapon, which is a bolter, a bolt gun, and the bottom half is kind of the secondary weapon, so they took half of this plasma pistol and added it to this bolt, bolt gun, and because of that you can only use it once in the game. So it's like a looks like a combi melt up because it's got a bolt clip and a melter gun attachment. If I'm getting any of these wrong, I'm I'm sorry. Please correct me. If you've seen my Rhino video, then you know that um, I'm totally new to Space Marines. Built the stupid thing wrong. Uh, bolt bolt pistol, I think, or is that a bolt gun? Could be a bolt gun. The back of the torso with the cape, back banner, and the legs. So if I can get a little bit closer. I think for mine, I'm going to use the this this regular loincloth one rather than this Roman looking one. It, it, it looks like that one might fit ultramarines more. I like how the chest plate has this rope going across it, this braided rope. Very cool. Ka -ka, ka -ka. Chain sword. The lightning claws look really great. It kind of astounds me though that there's only one side. Like you have to take another weapon. You can't have, there's no right-handed lightning claw. There's only one half of a lightning claw. Kind of strange, but oh well. I love that you get so many options on this frame. So here are the right arms. You can either make one holding the weapon out or kind of cocked at the side. The sheath pistol. There, this has to be a bolt pistol, so the other one has to be a bolt gun. Because it's a uh, smaller. Yeah? I don't know, what do you think? Iron Halo, which is kind of like a a force field, gives you an invulnerable save. Different icons that you can put in various places. And purity seals, you can also put in different places. Okay, let's look at the shoulder pads, then we'll go to the heads. We've got the Crux Terminatus, which is the symbol of the Terminators. Terminators are super soldiers of the super soldiers. They come decked out in tactical dreadnought armor, which is super huge, massive armor. The, I'm not sure though, does the Crux Terminatus, Terminatus mean that this person is qualified, certified? to fight with the Terminators, or that is Terminator Honors. I'm not too sure what that means. Uh, what is this over here? It's just like a stylized shoulder plate. 
Imperial Eagle, shoulder plate with free hand room, another shoulder plate with free hand room, and of course the, the golden boys of Games Workshop, the Ultramarines, get their own get their own molded shoulder plate, which whatever. Uh, man, they love they love ultramarines. They love them. I don't really care for them. Okay, so you've got one helmeted head, fully helmeted. You've got this half helmeted head. He's got like some kind of gas mask grill, breather grill on the lower half. And you've got this screaming head. I'm gonna probably kit bash for my Space Marine Captain. Probably gonna kit bash one of the other heads from the Death Company. Like the. Specifically, one of the ones with hair. Just because I think the Blood Angels aesthetic is they're, they're beautiful, they're golden boys, they care very highly about their appearance, and no baldies! Okay. So, I mean, I did see a couple in the new Blood Angels Codex, but overall, I'm gonna take all the all the heads out that have no hair and try to replace them with heads with hair. So, let's get on to the Assault Marines. Assault Marines have two sprues. Here we've got the five torsos, front and back. We've got the regular plain, plain Jane jump packs, which go on their backs. We've got their heads here on this side. Oh, I don't have hair! And we've also got a bolt pistol and an arm. I, man, I can't tell if these are bolt pistols or bolt guns. I, I still have the scale off in my head. We've also got a power fist, a power weapon, power axe, and shield. Oop. Yeah, the shield looks nice. This is the back part with the hand on it. Here's the front. Really great flat, flat surface to do freehand work. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, do the Assault Marines have another sprue? Yeah, they have to have because there's no legs on that one. Where is it? Okay. Is this it? Yes. Yes, here we go. Sorry about that. Got away from me for a second. So you can tell these are the Assault Marine sprues because these legs are running. They're in motion, so they look like they're they're either running or jumping forward or landing because they've got, they've got the jump packs on their backs. So very cool, very cool. Grenades. Giant bombs. A knife you can put on the edge of the bolter to make it look like a like a uh, bayonet. Purity seals. Purity seals, I, I thought were kind of funny when I was first getting into the hobby. I was like, what are all these pieces of paper they've got stuck on them? Some pouches, but um, I like it. I, I like the idea that it's things they want to remember, like famous battles and uh, the names of fallen comrades and stuff. Bolt pistols. Assault Marines, they're usually decked out with one, of, one hand is holding a chainsword, the other hand is holding a bolt pistol. So it gives them an extra attack in close combat. We've got five sets of plain Jane shoulder pads, which you're going to use to draw your squad symbols, markings, all that good stuff. Um, chapter symbols. So these are going to be blood angels, which means that they're going to have the little drops of blood on them. More grenades, five, six helmeted heads. One of them is this beaky helmet, which is a older style of armor. And grenades, torsos, and regular backpacks if you don't want to equip them with jump packs. And there's an older shoulder plate with the studs on them. So 
They include some of these older pieces of armor, like the beaky helmets and these studded shoulder plates, and I think that's really cool. I think they should do more, but that's what Forge World is for, I guess. Um, I have a question. So, there are five torsos, and there are five torsos here, so does that mean that because these are four, if you want to make them jump packs to have these, I guess, buckles, straps across the front, does that mean that, I guess that's right, yeah, I guess you can if you have the extra legs, if you pick them up off of eBay or online or just get extra Space Marine legs from a friend, you can make, you could conceivably make five more Space Marines, well I guess you can't, you need the heads and the extra weapons as well, but I just find it interesting that you have five different torsos here, or, or ten different torsos, but the only the extra pieces to make five models. But I like how the designs are all different, the torso pieces. I believe this is an older style of armor as well, because you see this on the Chaos Space Marines where they have the the tubing in the center, the raised breastplate and just the skull on it. I, I don't know, I could be wrong, but it, this kind of looks like an like a torso from a Chaos Space Marine, but just not spikeified. Finally, the last thing we've got on this sprue is the Blood, Angel, uh, Blood Angels Death Company. Death Company for the, the story behind them are that they're overcome with the with the visions of their Primarch, their their head boss man in his final battle and they go crazy and so they put them all together. They're like, oh, time to put you in the death company because you're, you're insane. And that's where they die, by throwing them into the enemy. But as you can see, their chain swords are so much more detailed and intricate than the plain ones. In fact, there's so much more, like everything has blood drops, or some kind of just thing of showing that they belong to the Blood Angels. These jump packs have like these braided ropes and um, blood symbols on. Sorry about that, camera battery died. And I'm talking too much, I'm talking too much. So plasma pistols, infernus pistols, which are hand hand melta guns or um, I'm sorry melta pistols basically you've got five great running legs you've got the shoulder pads all of these shoulder pads are fantastic yeah let's take a look at them for a second look at all the detail blood 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 one two three four Five. So you've got the parts six to make. You've got six extra shoulder pads that you can mix and match with other things in your army. In fact, if you decide to only use five for the death company, you could basically have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shoulder pads. If you only use one of these shoulder pads for each death company marine, you have eleven that you could spread around to the other guys in your army, which I think is great because I'm not so sure how effective death company are in the game but I do know that they are uh, that you do need to have a, like regular tactical marine troops and so you can mix and match a bunch of this stuff oh look here see here's another shoulder pad so that's what I love doing I love kit bashing what I'm probably going to be doing is taking some of these pieces and putting them on you know anything that I don't use like these bolt pistols or these bolt guns and whatever I'm gonna use on my other troops because if I don't I'm just gonna be, bu be building regular tactical marines and spray painting them red and painting them red basically so the five torsos yeah so look at you have like ten no five sorry I'm so excited I just want to get building then this is where I'm gonna take one of these heads to put on my space marine captain there's no baldies. And I've still got five heads over here for the death company. So I'm really excited about this kit. Like I said, I'm, I'm probably gonna be taking some of these pieces and switching them out with the Space Marine Commander. Um, because look how detailed and intricate. Look at all these purity seals and the 
parchment and any things, things that I don't use are going to go into my bits box for using with the rest of my Blood Angels army because waste not, want not. Alright players, this was a long unboxing. I'll come back to show you my finished product in the next video. I'll show you my built up Death Company, Assault Squad, and Space Marine Commander. Laters!